breaker. <laughs> Because it's it's goofy with the dork table. I don't know why. Hey, everybody, guess what? It's Grams we're, and Flash. We're, we're, we're at the dork table again? Yes, we're at the dork table again. And once again, your volume went... Well, I don't know why your volume went low. My time travel experiment is a success! Yes, that is. <laughs> Go for it. You crazy person. Well, you know what? If what? they got to turn it up to hear what I say, then good, because it's probably not worth hearing the first time anyway. Oh, is that how that works? I don't fucking know. I, <coughs> you know, a wise man is not afraid to say, I don't fucking know. <laughs> oh, well, isn't that something? How the, the geniuses come out when somebody doesn't know something. Yeah. It's they like, come falling out of the sky. I know. You know what the surprise ending is? What's that? <laughs> they don't know shit either. They just think they do. Oh. Um, they spend all their time arguing about the details of what their great answer is. So that it all turns out nobody knows nothing. We're all guessing. No, I know shit when I step in it. Dork table time! Yes, it is! Dork! Dork, 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 dork. So did did we get banned off of Facebook yet? Not yet. Not yet. But I haven't been playing on there very much lately. I just, I go on and I do a, you know, put the shows on the RLM okay. page and then did I we, leave. Are we big enough to get banned off of Twitter? <laughs> I have been trying. I really have. And you know what? When I try to get myself banned, I now have 402 followers. What the hell? <laughs> It's is that what called, you got to do? You got to try and piss yeah, people off to get them to follow you? Apparent, whatever it is you're doing, you're doing it. Yes, I am. Cause, Don't you know, ask me to explain what you're doing because I can hardly explain what I'm doing. Oh, well, yeah. I'm not real good <laughs> at explaining. Hello, RLM. <laughs> hello, RLM. And hello over here on, on Twitter. Speaking of Twitter, Twitter, thanks, Barman, for tweeting us out. Really do appreciate tweet, tweet. it. Tweet, 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 tweet. And over on Fakey Book, I did put it in the RLM thing, but I, I don't know. It's Saturday. You know, there's probably actually people out there that are, like, doing things. Um, yeah. Yeah. Like, look, looking for places to hide from the government. Ooh, is that how that works? Okay. Make no mistake, the whole idea of sanctuary states and cities is a concerted effort to aid in the invasion of the United States and destroy her from within. Okay, thank you, Katie Troxell. Um, yeah, KD's over uh, here on this effin a... site, as well yeah. as Estrella. Yay, and... KD, Troxel, and Estrella. And Grimmy. And, and Grimmy. Yeah, and hey, Bobby. Bobby? Hey, Bobby Bain, what's up? Yeah, he's at the only place to be. <laughs> I know. He very, he very good at spelling English. I like me, he very good at it. <laughs> Hey, that's a typo that's going to stick with me for the rest of my days. I always think of Bobby when I see that word spelled that way. Yeah. Yeah. That... Thank you, Bobby. Yes, I know. You know, it's one of those things where it's like, dude, you know, if I got to have a moment, let it be that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good memories from all that stuff. Oh, yes. Anyway. Oh, this, yes. This is it. And over here on Mines, uh, hey, Kate voted up our activity. Woo-hoo. Whoa. I know, and so did Real Liberty Media. Sweet. Uh, Real Liberty Media. I know them. Yeah. You know that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've got connections to the people at the RLN. You do? Yeah. I'll tell you about it someday in a secret meeting. Oh, yeah, you're going to rub it in, aren't you? Wait a minute. My wife's going to hear this. <laughs> no, I ain't rubbing anything anywhere, honey. <laughs> I'm just talking to Mary. <laughs> Ooh, saved by the bell. <laughs> oh, hey, mine's just refreshed, and it's the way cool Charlie Brown dancing scene. They dance so way cool. Uh, no. And my oldest daughter can do that dance. She's very good at it. Wow, it's like the river dance the, Scott, the Irish do without moving their feet. Yeah. Scots do it too, right? Is it Scots or Irish? I think or it's both. I think it's the Irish, and that's that's the origination of the official pee pee dance, as far as I'm concerned. Man, but you, I mean, you ever see them do that? Wow, that's 
It's freaking impressive. It puts all that American shit on TV just down to shit. Yes, it does. He's just but, shit, yeah, man. They, they, they just move their feet, and their whole body seems to like be staying still. But their feet are moving. It's almost like a cartoon. <laughs> I know. Their feet are going like yeah, 90 but, miles a second. <laughs> And, and the rest their of their bodies just, still. Yeah. yeah. It's like, A lot dang, of body control. Yeah, I know. No I want a physicist to to study that because, damn it, now, that's just unnatural. That's, <laughs> but it's entertaining. It is. It's very entertaining. Yep. Yes. Okay. Okay. Over here on RLM, which is where you need to be if you oh, want to give us yeah. static here at the dork table. Dork, 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 dork. Barman is right up top, and Barman, he is the most dorkular ever, ever. Yeah, but he didn't, he didn't weed and coffee everybody, so no. he's kind of a well, slacker today. No, because Rob Works fired up the bubbler and passed it around, and I think everybody okay. may have imbibed just a skosh much yesterday, because it was 420 then, day. And Barman is forgiven. Yes, yes, Barman is forgiven. Okay. We'll let it slide. Uh, let's see. What else? Oh, yeah. Grimner. <laughs> we said a Grimner twice already. Did Grimner, I really? Very, very, Holy very, smokes. Very, very, but I got the big industrial glass of coffee from the boss. Wow. Yeah, she's wishing me a good look on the show. Hey, how cool. I also, wow. And see, I got a big cup yeah. of coffee, too. And it's 11 oh, 11 according hey, Wayne, to my phone. How's it going? Sweet angelic <laughs> numbers. Oh, so that'll mean my back won't be so stoved up. Mm, oh, yeah. That would be a good thing. My back is a stoved up. Yes, it is. She had a terrible leaf raking incident. Actually, pine cone and branches. Because, yeah, 70 mile an hour winds. I had a lot to rake oh, yeah. up. Yeah, and I'm and sure. I thought and I kept thinking, oh, I just have a little bit more, and yeah, now my back yeah. is letting me know. Yeah, that little bit more, you shouldn't have gone there. <laughs> yeah. well, oh, well, that's why God made us slaves. Yes, but I do have my um, home medics office chair shiatsu massager. So yeah, that. You know what I got? What's that? I got, Cirque, I need help with my back. <laughs> uh, uh, she well, knows a good threat when she hears one. <laughs> ah, there you go. Okay, yeah. back to saying, hey, hi, hi Lucy. Hi. <laughs> hey, Z is here. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, you missed Miss Kate. Miss Kate. I uh, missed Kate here because, yeah. well, I, I can't read very good when I'm smoking. Oh, see how you are. Okay, well, and then Beth Z and Chelsea Doni too. Chelsea Doni and wow. Chloe. She's back to just normal Chloe, Chloe instead of Chloe four twenty. Yeah, and mm. just one of her. She had Grand garter snakes. Dorkuler. Yeah, I read that about the snakes. At least yeah. she had the decency to put the cats up so they wouldn't eat them. Yeah. Give them a chance to run. They're just little garden snakes. Gonna hurt anyone? Well, no. They're they're very good at getting <sighs> bugs. It's kind of refreshing to see a, a female not panic over a little bit of, you know, animal life. Well, garter snakes don't bother me. It's the other ones that we got see, rattlers out here. Some, uh, fucking, it's a snake. It's You're a billion times bigger than it. Believe me, it's afraid of you. I know don't it worry. is, but you know what? Freaking rattlesnakes, those things, when they bite you, they freaking bite you. And again, you have to threaten an animal or an, uh, a reptile before it's going to bother you. It's not like I'm sitting here in the living room and there's a rattlesnake here. Well, Come on, you got to go to it. Yeah, but if I'm out in my garden like I was last year and I was thinning out weeds in the in the potatoes, and I found a snake garden? skin and it scared shit out of me. Do so you there. you think the snake cares whose garden it's in? No, it doesn't. Did it ask, hey, give me see who owns this property? Well, No, it trespasses, goes wherever it wants. So well, uh, that's why is. I keep dogs, so the dogs will chase the snakes away. Oh, you're no fun. I know, I am so cruel. I like, I like wildlife just to exist and just walk around it. It's not going to bother you. It's well, just I, another thing. Yeah, okay. Well, let me finish your saying hi then, level, damn it. Well, because you're so aggressive, you make animals tacky because you're mean <laughs> well yeah i am a big old meanie poo poo head 
<laughs> yeah. And I be Don C is here too. And the white version. Don C and at work. Yeah. And Java Good Doctor that. too. Java Doctor too. Hey, Jay's Nines and Jay's. Yeah. He's here too. And Juana Taco. Juana Taco. And Mr. Asmodius. Ta ta ta. ta. Yeah, he upgraded to I like that, Mr. Asmodeus. I know. It makes him sound so he's professional. To, he's got to jump back onto the um, trivia game sometime and give Grimm a little competition. I try, but I'm too slow of a typer. Well, Grimm and Moose Girl, yeah, and Kate. <laughs> it's like, holy. Yeah, well, sometimes the women aren't even there. They come and go. Yeah. But Grimm's the diehard. He'll play through the whole fucking game. Yeah. And I, every I only get, I get the get, obscure answers. <laughs> I, get, I get sick of being in second place five times in a row, so I go play something else and come back. <laughs> get all pissed off and go, hey, I can't even beat the fucker type. And, eh, fuck this. I go play gummy drops for 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I act like a real grown-up when I play trivia. <laughs> there you go. Hey, Cowboy Tech just joined us, too. Hey, Whee! And then up? he left. He, oh, oh, no. He's no, he's still here. His... He's still here. The other one. Okay. Um, just put St. Patrick's statue out there. Oh, snakes will be gone. I didn't know that, Grim. Hot diggity dog. I may have to try that. That way it's a, a nonviolent mm. manner of dealing with them. Okay, yeah. back to saying hi. Hi, Rain. We hey, have rain. rain. We have rain out here. <laughs> I went out this morning with the doggies and did my grounding and all that fun stuff. I walked over and checked out the rain gauge, and we got three tents. Booyah! And, okay. and I see the fluke is coming up here. Oh, yes. shush. Shush. You and your freaking... Uh, uh, the minutes with the fluke You need I to stop enjoyed. that. I will hurl. The many, the minutes <laughs> I have enjoyed with Shut the it. Fluke. Shut it. You're supposed to be doing that with a Spanish wonderful. accent, you dipshit. <laughs> oh, I, I haven't figured out how to do that yet. I'm going to do a Mexican, yes, yeah, Cirque thought of it, a Mexican Henry Kissinger. So I, I well, she thought of it yesterday, so I got to think about how am I going to do that. Mm. It's mm. a challenge with my uh, voice ah. characters. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Certainly. Uh, Rob Works is here, and he fired yes. up the bubbler. Yay! Uh, and he's made his transition. Yay! Uh, and Rob is so happy. Congratulations. Yay! Congratulations to Rob Works for moving south and being where he is. Oh, Grimmy says he has to sit there for the duration, so it may as well play trivia, which, yeah, and then you may as well just let the rest of us know just how slow and how not intelligent as you are, we are. Okay. <laughs> oh. Ooh. No, I, think I get, like I said, I get the obscure mind. answers. I'm yeah, very good at the still, obscure. That, I don't so. think Grimm's doing anything more than playing. He's just faster at the typing than most yes, of us. And he is very fast. He, I know a lot of the answers. I just type like a, you know, and I type like it's embarrassing and I like. And do you know what I spell like? My spelling sucks. Yeah, so. or either the spelling or the slow typing gets, yeah, spelling is my second enemy. Yes. Trust no one. Trusty. <sighs> he killed the duck. Trust. We're going, we're going hey, to kill us. the duck. <laughs> Hello, honey. Hi, Cycles. It's here. Oh, yes. yes. Hello, honey. Cycles and Dakota. Oh, uh, and Dima. Uh, and, and that's me. Yeah, flash tastic. You're flash tastic. Yeah. Uh, Bragger. See how you Yeah, want to touch me? Go on. I... No. Cirque. <laughs> <laughs> She said no to. <laughs> oh, wow. Hi, Flumpy. I, I have a body for radio. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm not even going to go there. <laughs> Hi, Flumpy. Hi, <laughs> Yeah, Kanucky. Hi, Gooberzilla. Goober. What's up, Goob? Yeah, and Kozu, and Moy, 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 Moy. That one, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, then Sun Dubois. Hi, yeah. And Pox a home. And ooh, double dipping. Yeah, and Papa Pond sauce. 
Yeah, somebody oh, no, double it was, dipped. It was Hans. It was Hans that was giving me shit about people double dipping to <laughs> to lift our ratings because we only got ten listeners or eight or something. I said I don't care. Doesn't matter to me. Hey, you know some people they have to do that in order to have it in stereo. Duh. But, okay. But Guess what? Be- the last one because we're at eleven twenty. Phantom. Phantom. I tried and I, yeah, I failed. My devious plot to get you to 21 just fell apart. <laughs> Shit. I well, today is 421. To... Yeah, I tried to stall with the Mexican tr- Kissinger thing, but it seemed to backfit, you know. Yeah, backfire. well, I, yeah, I, I kept going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, you know what? I'm yeah. I'm going to get a I'm going to get a course on picking the bones clean. Picking the bones clean. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, it's a it's a um, financial course that you can take to survive in the financial world Ooh. Of, profit, of profit and loss and Ooh. the goal is to not be a loss the goal is to be a profit oh yeah now, and profit they got that catchy. Is... picking the bones clean it just sounds so jewish i figured it can't fail profit is that with a ph or an f I don't care as long as it cash as long as the check cashes. Who gives a shit? <laughs> <laughs> you know, because you know what? When people lose all their loyalty and all their fucking rules and all that shit, is when when the check clears. Oh. Oh, they'll forgive anything as long as the check clears. Oh, that's how that works. Okay. Oh, I guarantee you could take the worst fucking relationship you have. Throw money at it, and you know what'll happen? Uh, I don't know what. You'll prolong the fight a couple years more. Oh, okay. Because that, what money is designed to do, little miss. See, a lot of people didn't know this. Ah. They have been, yeah, they've been bamboozled, and they believe that money solves the problems. And I'm here to tell you from experience and observation... Your money is your problem. Ah. And See, go, and money think it, well, many people think it's the lack thereof that is the problem, and it's no. No, because you'd be surprised uh, how kindly a lot of people are that are lacking in that area. There's no, Granted, there are a lot that are not quite so kindly, but yeah. It's like you read my mind. I yeah. was going to that. Eh, that's okay. You can say a thing or two. I agree with you today. I can it's, o- okay. it's okay. It's okay. Si, si, no. It's okay. No, we're, we're all stuck with this polar opposite shit, and I'm starting to wonder how much of life is that we're taught, you know, things that are explained to us. I mean, the shit that we do know is misdirection and bullshit. How much of the shit that we believe that's, Yet to be proven, you know, in a, to the masses is bullshit is bullshit. Oh. Well, there's some things you can prove to some people. Uh-huh. Yet other people see the same, same. Well, not you can't be sure they've seen the exact same proof you've seen. All you can do is assume that they have because you've seen it. Ah. And I think that the same thing that will convince one man of one idea will convince another man of a completely different idea, looking at the exact same thing. And it doesn't matter what you hear about it. It matters how you personally see it. Oh, well, everything. The only thing that matters is how you personally see it. Well, I can give you a physical example that might clean it all up, too. Okay. And it comes from a Twilight Zone episode. Okay. And the guy, the guy's going to this bar to uh, uh, catch his wife scheming behind his back with another fella. Uh huh. And of course, the Twilight Zone. The story goes on into other shit. But the point of it all is, at, at the end of the thing, he was wrong. She was trying to surprise him with something, buying this what a hoochie through this man. So she meets him in a bar. And uh-huh. he sees it, it as cheating on him because he's a selfish, ignorant fuck and doesn't know how to ask a question. <laughs> Just assumes, you know, so he's going to go kill people because he thinks something. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, those and, thought police things. Yeah, but it's things like that. You can look at something and assume what it is, but be completely fucking wrong. Yeah. Well, there you go. So yeah, I know. And it's scary. And, I agreed with and, you, too. I know. Day in and week out and year out and month out and all that, we're still stuck on the same living space as the next motherfucker. And somehow we're convinced we have different ideas that are worth being violent about. Uh, I know. Isn't it crazy? Well, you know, that's just kind of one of those things about, um, ooh, differing opinions. It happens. Well, I read that uh, the bombing in Syria last Friday, not this last Friday before, was uh, not, it was um, basically glorified by the United Nations and supporters of that USA, UK, France bullshit. So... If the truth is that 66% of the people support it, then we're fucked. And and here's the other side of it. Of it. If it's a lie and 66% don't support it, we're fucked. Because <laughs> either way, it shows you that this is what the future holds. Either we're going to have war because we're lied to about it, or we're going to have war because people want it. Hmm. Hmm. And it doesn't really matter what the reason is. They're going to have it and just call it whatever reason they like and inform us of their decision. And this is how we live in this fucked up world. What do you whatever mean they're they going to have it? We've been having it for the last how many centuries? Well, look at how much crap I take from hands just disagreeing about the moon landing. Come on. <laughs> that guy's such a statist. He thinks that this shit's good for him. They're looking forward to the end. They're calling it a reset. I know. Well, wait a minute. That means that there's other chimpanzees out there repeating that shit, too. Well, maybe we could, you know, find a hundredth monkey to say, hey, stop the violence. Get real. Yeah, well. It sounds corny, but it's really true. Just stop hurting other people. Your life will improve. Well, <clears throat> You know, they call it revelations because it's supposed to be revealing things to you. And apocalypse does not necessarily mean what everybody is putting it out. They want you to believe that it's the end of the world and all this other fun shit. But maybe it's the end of the world <laughs> as they know it. Or maybe, just maybe, it is the end of an age, you know. And we're stepping into the age of Aquarius. And whenever you transition from one to another, you're going to have some friction. You're going to have some upheaval. Maybe that's okay. what it is. And, and I've started out in life physically living in the environment that I am ended up living in again. Uh huh. Explain explain that and everything in the middle that brought me to where I'm at. But it's very similar to the first six years. Well, you have revolved. Good. I don't really understand it, but. The, this reset and society is going to collapse. And I've been hearing that for a fucking long time. Well, and the doomsdayers have been saying that it's the end of the world for how many yeah, freaking I, I centuries? I nine when I saw the guy standing there with a sandwich board on his, you know, around his neck. The end is near. Yeah. You know, sandwich boards, they used to have signs that yeah. hang over their neck. With, yeah. Those yeah. things. So that's probably nine, ten years old. So here we are 50 years later and the world's still here. I know. Mm, I think I think people are overreacting just a, just a tad, Miss Mary. And I don't want to ignore them. You know, I mean, they're people. But their belief systems are a little askew, if you know what I mean. Yeah. And the negative seems to just, wow, it gets to the point where I got to go play some video game or something and just get away from it because it's too negative. See, and Rob, Rob just shared it, which I'd seen that before, but I couldn't think of the exact, the exact wording. But the root meaning of apocalypse is a great Ugh. unveiling. So it's not even, you know, it's, I... it's not what it's not what they portray it to be through mass media. Yeah. 
because they're movies, they always got to control yeah. the narrative and change that definition just to skosh, just to get you to go along with, you know, so they can say one thing and they mean another thing, and everybody goes, well, it must be true because they those people they have piece of paper that's in a little glass frame on their wall, so they must be <laughs> super smart. <laughs> well, you know, and sadly, sometimes that's true. There are very smart people that play that game and achieve and go on in life. Uh -huh. And occasionally one of them or here and there will find out what they really did and, and try to make up for it. Yeah. Like that, that Dr. Daniels. She seems like the everything in life I would be repelled from up until the point where she says, no, I, I said no. Yeah. Yeah. Took my chances. Went to Panama. Got the fuck out of the game. Bye-bye. Yeah. But – going to talk about it and you people are you know going to have to either believe me or not but this is the other side of what you're not told ah the oh other yeah side. And, and Grimner, t tomorrow never comes didn't you get that what what album is that off <laughs> i don't remember never, but yeah never comes. yeah tomorrow yeah. never comes well, it's an old thing. all you got's today but, Exactly. So, I mean, some can you imagine the poor fucker that dies on a day like that after they've been listening to this? It's doomsday shit. And then they drop dead. And they go, well, oh, doomsday got me. I wonder what their last thought would be. You know? Doomsday. Ah, <laughs> huh. it's life. I don't take this as seriously as a lot of you folks out there in RLM land do. It's just life. It ends. Woo! We'll life, find out. Life is a game, and I'm not talking about the board game where you spin the little thingy. And you no, know what's no. you know what's really irritating? They have changed the life game. It's like, what the hell? Why did you up and you took away and it, what the hell? It's like, damn it! How? Okay, define how they changed it. Well, they they I rearranged don't know if you're the, about the game or they the rearranged life. the board game. Oh, okay. Thank you. And they change some of the the ways that you play, and and uh, and it's like, what the hell? What oh, the hell? Oh, wow. Yeah, because yeah, I see. played it with my kid, my grandkids, last time I was out visiting them, and it's like, oh, and, this. And see, and when you tell people that they're the forces behind everything else have rewritten history throughout history, they don't believe you. And if you look at the results of what we have. We didn't get here by accident. This is a plan. This is a plan, a devastating, horrible way to do us so that a, a few families can live above us all. And you can't, yeah, they're voting for Trump. Trump's going to change things. No, he ain't. Jesus fucking Christ. You're in a bigger mess now than you were before they put him in office. And uh -huh. if it would have been Hillary, it would have just been expected. It wouldn't have been any fucking different. So nothing changed. Hell, Trump doesn't even change his own toupee, let alone. Oh, did I say that out loud? Are no. you making fun of the orange one? Yes, oh. I am. And so we'll leave. Come on. Oh. When we start bashing Trump, Hans goes off and goes to Starbucks. Oh, Hansel. He's just he Trumple Stillskin. <laughs> I mean, he, seriously, I, he's I, I, he's yeah. freaking Trumpelstiltskin. Yeah. <laughs> and if you stop and think about Rumpelstiltskin from the fairy tales, it's not Mary. much different. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I wonder how they, I got to admit, they've, they've been dragging this freaking dead animal down the road. For Quit picking on Trump's hair. <laughs> no, no, no. For 101 years, successfully. Right. The information is available to the public to see the fraud their money system truly is, that it has no value, that it's worth nothing. You just believe it is. And you've believed yourself into it being worth five percent of its face value. <laughs> well, either that or you owe the, the Rothschilds 20 trillion dollars and they want it. <laughs> I don't remember signing any kind of agreement with the Rothschilds. They call it your driver's license. Oh, I know. There's all kinds of lovely little permits that you get to do what you should be able to do. But everybody says, well, it's my right. Well, unless you exercise it, is it really? I don't, I don't believe in rights, so I don't really know. 
I don't know how to answer it for you. I know how to answer it for me. Uh, you know, I'll use the system to acquire what I want if I have to. If that's the only way to get well, from point A to point B, I'll do it that way. But otherwise, I'd just soon leave them out of it. They're just annoying. Yeah. So I don't sign up to do their government crap, and there you go. You ask them for nothing, they leave you alone. You, uh. you know, and there's just a few small little things. You can't run around shooting people. That draws a lot of police attention to you. Um, yeah. Growing large quantities of uh, illegal plants and shit, that'll draw a lot of attention to you. Oh, so if I have a really big garden, then that'll draw a lot of attention. Damn oh, they'll rip that. Yeah, they'll rip that bitch out just because uh, the city ordinance says it can. No, I, where I live, it's unincorporated. That changes things, doesn't it, legally? Yes. Because you play the legal game when you own property. Mm -hmm. There's no way around that. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's their well, game. Oh, you know what I saw today on the way? Uh, I had to go to the store for something today. Oh, yeah? And, uh, oh, yeah, it was wonderful. And on the way home, I hear the thunder of Harley. And, you know, I mean, I got my fucking reading glasses on when I'm out going to the store because I got to read labels at the store. So I don't think of this. You read labels it, in Danish? Yeah. But here comes this freaking. Oh, well, some of it. Yeah, because I, <laughs> I know what I'm getting. Uh, but so here comes this freaking Harley Davidson. Just sounded beautiful. Like the damn thing just like it was making music. And the closer it got, the better it, it looked pretty it sounded pretty and it had a biker on it and as the fucker passes me i see colors on the back of his but i can't read them so anyway i'm walking past the train and i come out and i hear that sweet thunder one more time and it was him and another guy and they're both wearing the same patch and i can't read it ah. so i think it was banditos i think that's the gang that that's uh native to the area that we're at and Wow, the bikers are really cool here. I like them. Ah. Banditos. They do their biker thing, and they're real people. They just do their biker thing, and you look at their bike, and they go away. Yeah. Yeah, all that American shit that I've left behind. I don't miss none of it. Well, good. Well, I hate to say that to you because uh, you've got American shit on your feet. Well, Yeah. I am in America, after all, so I'm going to have well, American I, shit. I wonder, well, maybe you're not. Maybe America is a state of mind, and you're just, you're there, but they don't notice you. <laughs> well, actually, I'm in Grammy land. That's that's I my mean, story, and I'm sticking to it. Well, I mean it in a good way, that you're not a physical threat to society in any fucking way, so they don't even notice you're there. Could you know very I mean? well be. Like me. I, I've, uh, yeah. I'm I'm just an older guy now. I'm not I'm not a crazy kid no more. Those Ooh. days are long gone, right? So, yeah. Cool. And I would I would recognize crazy if I saw it because of the places I've been and shit that I've seen happen. And this place is so boring. <laughs> it's a retirement village with Harley Davidsons. Oh, a retirement. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hmm. I can't even remember the last time I saw the cops. Might have been two months ago, for all I know. Three. I don't think I've seen them this year. Huh. Well, cool. That's a good thing. I have, well, actually, yeah. no, it was yeah. a week and a half ago. Week, yeah, a week and a half ago, I um, saw a cop over here. And basically, they uh, patrolled around my neighbor to the east because mm -hmm. she's going through a rather messy divorce. It, it's four years now. Ouch. Yeah. And her yeah. ex is being a total, total uh, psycho is what he's being. It's a freaking psycho. Well, that's but, because people um, are greedy fucking cunts. Yes. And when a, when a relationship's over, then they want shit. I want stuff. Oh, fuck. You can have all the stuff. I'll give you all the fucking headaches, and I'll see you later. There's plenty of stuff in this world. Don't fucking lug your stuff with you. It just drags you down. See, and that's pretty much what she did. I mean, they own two houses over here, um, and uh, 
the one where she's staying is the rental house, and it's really not all that fancy schmancy, but she told him, here, you can have the house, you can have the furniture, you can have all of your stuff, and whatever <clears throat> stuff you have over at the rental house, you have so many months to get it cleaned up, and if you don't, <laughs> then I have the right to sell it. And uh -huh. he agreed to that. Oh, okay. He oh, agreed whatever. to that. That, and then, I don't know. I'm hearing you know, your side of yeah. somebody else's problem. Sure, and then six months that. later, when she started selling stuff, he showed up and got well, you're pissed. you're talking about people that are getting divorced. you got to realize they're, they're not friends anymore. Come on. Yes. Oh, I understand Think that. But he showed up, mm. and so. he slapped her around, and he slapped oh. their daughter around. Wow. And yeah, and then the daughter went to her pickup because you know people out here we drive pickup trucks yeah, that yeah, kind of I shit. Know. I know. She got went and gun. got her gun. <laughs> yeah. That's and, what you do when somebody starts slapping people around. You go get a fucking pistol. That's yeah. what they're for. Yeah, and uh, while mom then was calling the cops, she it. held a gun on him so that he would not follow mom and smack around on her some more. And that wow. was. Two and a half years ago that that happened, and there's still because he will he won't sign a release to that property so that she can sell it. So, because she's wanting to move, you know, she's wanting to get the fuck away, and uh, he won't sign a release on that on that property. So if if she leaves that property, <laughs> he says it's his, and he can go over <laughs> and just and it's like. And they're fighting over this stuff. And she's just wanting him to leave her the fuck alone. Which her kids <laughs> want him to leave her the fuck alone. Oh, but, so I get this right across the road from me. And it's like, wow, damn. This would be entertaining if it was on the boob tube. But it's not. It's real life. And it's like, this shit sucks. And I well, know I'm both of them. you brought it up. Yeah. There you go. I have a different kind of life than that. But all right. Well, see, and that's basically the only excitement I got out here is whenever he decides to come <laughs> other, over and get psycho. Other people's misery entertains Americans lately. It's very strange. Well, it's just, it's really sad. And, and it's like, God damn it. So, all right, I'm confused. Are you saying it entertains you or are you saying it's sad? Make up your mind. It's sad, but, you know, it's, it's, it does not entertain me one damn bit. You know? Oh, okay. I was misunderstood. Right. Uh, yeah. Work with me here, Dr. Well, Ruth. see, and that's what that's what passes for excitement over here is once in a while you have. But other than that, it's really a very quiet little berg. <laughs> yeah, when you're so emotional when the, the big fellas start slapping the little tiny girls around and such. Yeah, well, you know, I see that kind of shit, and, and uh, I want to go smack the hell out of somebody. But... Smacking yeah, yeah, the hell yeah. out of well, them doesn't yeah. really change anything either. No, all so. the bullying in the world just creates more bullies. Yeah. Eh. It's all talk on the internet. In reality, eh. Yeah. I don't do that shit in face to face. People get along with me very well in person. Hey, guess what we had yesterday? What did you have yesterday? Oh, my mother in law's birthday. Sweet. So um, we invited her over to um, have a, a day here at the house. Ah! Oh, how cool. But, yeah, they couldn't do it until tomorrow, but she had her birthday, but she didn't come over for it for tomorrow. Ah. Yeah, well, you know, I get along with these people. They're really nice people. Wow, Flasher getting along with people. Dang, who'd have figured? Uh, I'm <laughs> telling you, Miss Mary, this <laughs> internet it brings out the Mexican Jew deep. Deep, deep, deep down inside of me. <laughs> the Mexican Jewy bastard. <laughs> and come on, who can pass up the chance to hate a Jew and a Mexican at the same time and nobody gives a fuck? You know? Because I don't take any of that crap to serious. It's just a bunch of words. Oh, like, well, uh, you know, yeah, it, it does no good if you don't care. It's like, what in the hell? I'm yeah, not gonna, right. well, I'm not gonna waste my time being a, a hateful poo poo head if if right, you're gonna just go. So, how I mean it is like this: you uh -huh. were raised as an American, an American, an American, um, this, that, and the other, right? Or I'm I'm guessing about it. I was raised were... as a human being. Okay, 
but I, I wasn't because I had a Jewish mother that was English and a Mexican father that was American and all these institutions in my life always questioning the parental units, backgrounds. Ah. And sh- you know what I mean? All that shit was always in my face. Uh huh. So on my father's side, I could be Mexican, but on my mother's side, I could be English. Ooh. Yeah. You could be. On my be. father's side, I could be Mexican-American. Hey, wait a minute. But on my mother's side, I could be, <laughs> hey, she's a Jew. Ha! Ah. So the, the list starts growing. <laughs> uh, wasn't it Cheech that saying, I'm a Mexican-American. I'm a yeah. Mexican-American. Yeah, I, like, I like beans. Yeah. I, I understand <laughs> all the jokes, but I can draw from any bag of shit that I want to, depending yeah. on the mood. Uh-huh. Yeah, well, that's not a, that's a, that's like fighting. A, that's so easy for me to win. It's not fair. You've only got one. I got like six. Well, we Did haven't gotten Jew- into my heritage. Are you Jewish too? No. Come on. After all this time, you're going to break a secret like that? No. <laughs> Mary's a Jew. No, uh, uh, but I am an alien. I have RH negative blood. So I'm an is that alien. Rare? Okay, is that a rarity or is that like one in a million? Or I think one it's thirteen percent of the population, or some. I don't know. Uh, that's still okay. Thirteen percent of this pot. So small. Okay. Yeah. I got it. Miss Alien. I know. I'm an alien. That's what they say. Is it thirteen or is it twenty-seven? I don't remember. It's a small percentage of the population. But... Well, twenty-seven isn't a small percentage. Twenty-seven is a little bigger than a small percentage. Uh, well, I, I don't remember what that's... the exact I... percentage is, but I, I know that you... I'm a freaking alien. My opinion, not yours, you dork. <laughs> and you know, depending I mean... on depending on who you talk to, <laughs> I might be an illegal alien. You never know. Wow. It, what a, it still, again, what a load of shit all this crap is and how unnecessary it is in your life when you really think about it. Think it through. Do I have to? Mm. I don't know. I don't Am I wanna... holding the gun to your head, little missy? Am I forcing you to do things again? your will? No. Nope. Am I? Am I? Am nope. I? <laughs> do you have to? I don't think Oops. so. I don't think anybody should. If you feel you have to. Then you better want to, because <laughs> it's going to happen. But uh, I don't think it's a thing that that should be enforced. That kind of thing. If you don't want to do something, I'm all for somebody going. I ain't doing that. And you know, and the reason I'm for that is because the the it sets the thing up for the right person that wants to do it. Ah. Uh-huh. Oh, hey. We're not. Hey, what? guess what? I I just looked, and under scientific facts, it says only 18% of people in the U.S. have negative blood type. Oh, there you go. There you go. 3% over what I could consider a small out of 100%. Oh, see how you are. 14% small. 15%, all of a sudden, my brain goes, no, that's a little bit more. I think we're we're hitting no. Uh, we're going okay, to okay. And then if you look under RH negative registry home, it says only fifteen percent of the U.S. population have RH negative blood. Yeah, so, but you want, you want to hear the bad news? What's that? The the United States is the minority population on the planet. Man. Yeah. Oh boy, I'm telling you, the the stories that we grew up hearing and. And the shit that's taken place is going to be so far from what we're expecting. It's going to throw a few people into a tizzy, I think, this year. Ooh. Oh, did I not say big things were a coming? A big and you things. said, yeah, big they things. always happen. And I went, no, not like this. And then you know what happened? What? Trump told everybody he was going to do the girly thing and pull out. And stop and go away. You know what he did? Yeah, well, you know what? Every time someone says they, they're they going to pull out, yeah. yeah. We all okay, know right to my first rule of unfucking the world <laughs> is the lying, all this, all this fucking lying. If people weren't uh, capable of doing it, they wouldn't do it. It's part of our acceptance. We accept these lies in our life somehow. 
okay. or they wouldn't take place because there's no excuse for this shit. It's just fucking wrong. You know, if you're breathing and you've got feelings, you should know better than bombing other people because of lies does not solve anything. Well, bombing doesn't bombing doesn't solve anybody unless you're dropping truth anyway, bombs or f bombs. Uh, yeah. F bombs well, can yeah. solve a problem because if you drop an f bomb around somebody that doesn't like f bombs, they'll leave you alone. <laughs> yeah, no, f, I was thinking more on the physical plane because, you know, we're sitting here in this little part of the world, me and Cirque, and little traffic down the road. You know, people going to the into town to get stuff and buy things and, and do their social crap and see their families and stuff like that. Very innocent, quiet, peaceful. And then I read the internet and it's all this tweakers under bridges. And I, I thought, wait, now they can install a camera to watch these people break the freaking law and then sell it on the internet as entertainment. And I live in the fucked up society because <laughs> there's no police here is that's my big threat. Oh, you know what man. I mean? No yeah. police? Well, how in the heck do you have peace and order if you have no popo? How can uh, that happen? Because people are nice to each other here in public. Oh, man. And if they're not nice, they're they're tolerant. They don't start yelling and screaming at people. There's regular Joes. A lot of them know each other, too. And, They'll they'll have uh, like meetings and they'll just stand in the middle of every fucking thing where they're standing and start talking because they're not used to the big city. They're used to this. This is their home. Ah, well, mm-hmm. it's way different. I, I really have grown to appreciate it over the time I've been here. Well, good. <laughs> and dislike the city more. The more I. I read about the city the last time I want to ever see one again. Hey, well, Goober. Be good. Oh, Goober's Surprise, leaving? Goober Later, left. Goobs. Yeah. Surprise, you took an hour to spend with us. Yeah. I, I don't care for his good friend. Uh, well. I know. Uh, what can I say? We That's the, the beauty of the uh, interactions is the jokes that come from it. Ah, but ah. you know it's been going for two years, so it's kind of stale. We need we need to probably pass on and, and move on to something else. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yeah, but see, peace, love, and understanding is a mockery to a guy that wants the world to burn. Oh, and there is just something really damaged about somebody that wants the world to burn. You know, it's kind of like pyromaniacs. Although fire is awful cool to watch when you're sitting around a campfire, it really is kind of cool to watch. But, you know, when you go and you light someone else's shit on fire just because you want to watch fire, go build a fucking campfire, asshole. Hmm. (laughs) Well, and I think you're taking a real rarity mental illness like pyromania to the surface where it truly doesn't belong. It does belong though, because that is what that that's one of those things that it's a symptom of what is wrong with a lot of people in this world. You know, they just freaking they want what they want and they really enjoy this shit and be damned if it hurts someone else. That's that's How, the right. core. I've lived here for four year three and a half years, haven't seen a fire truck yet. Haven't heard a fire yet. No, I I thought you said something last year about there was a fire or a fire. Oh, ambulance. Ambulance. Oh. People that either, you know, have gotten ill or I, I, what I was talking about was I thought I saw a motorcycle accident wreck thing, but it came up at the end of it. And I, I could only assume what I, what I was, what could have happened by what I was looking at and how easily I jumped to assumptions because of what I'm familiar with. And then when I picked it apart, it could have been anything. Could it could have been somebody walking down the street and fell down and had a stroke and just dropped. To there was a motorcycle, a little scooter thing. Maybe they fell off their scooter or some hit a car. Anything could happen. But I didn't see it. I just saw the aftermath. Mm. So I was interested in how how easily I jumped to conclusions based on what I've got preconceived notions of already. Oh. 
because I'm not the only one that jumps to conclusions in this world, little miss. You know. <laughs> Grimmy says pyromania only works if you have a one-handed drummer. That's true. <laughs> Talk about yeah, obscure had, reference. Had, <laughs> yeah, but he had two arms before the. What did he wreck? He wrecked a bike or something. Mm. Yeah. The drummer from Def Leppard. Yeah. Uh, they made a special drum kit so they could play it with one arm and, th- and his two feet. Yeah. And so, it is uh, pretty amazing to watch him drum. Uh, it was disappointing. And I was living in on Flood Street when the, I think the guitarist shot himself and killed himself. Somebody from that band died. I think it was. Yeah, it uh, was uh, the other, was it was the other with. Steve and he didn't shoot himself. His heart exploded. Well, Okay. See, I'm old now. It's been like many, many, this is 1991. Yeah, he you know, was. That's why I posted the, the Father Guido five-minute university. Ah. Because I've reached those twilight years, and I know. He's right. You remember this, and you remember that, and, and nobody asks any of the other shit in the middle, so who cares? Ah. <laughs> so, ah. That's, why get, that's why getting jobs was so easy when I was in the workforce yeah people wanted to know the beginning and the end but they really didn't give a shit about the middle well yeah you'd be surprised how many people don't give a shit about the middle i'm older now now i know how a guy that's 58 years old looks at somebody when they're 20 they look at the beginning and they look up across the table and they go what the fuck you're hired Ah. It's not a big, long process, please. All this drama people go through with education and all this other crap. You know why people give you jobs? Uh Uh-uh. Because they like you. Cool. Yeah. Now, do you know why they continue to work with you? Because they, I don't know. Because they don't like you anymore. Oh. You were close. I thought you were going to say it, but yeah. Well, I was going to I was going to well, say cuz cuz they want to use you or they know how to they figured out how to use you. But the I don't think a lot of folk really understand the dynamics of slavery with a paycheck. For some reason, it makes another person look at it that it's not slavery when it's the same fucking thing. You're forced to do something So that you can be able to do these things. And whether you admit it or not, you're forced. There's there you go without or you do them. Ah. That's how I looked at it. So I tried to make what I did like the most fun I could fucking have. I had a lot of blast jobs too. (laughs) I don't wow. Uh, the last time I, I had to get a driver's license, and it was for a job because I wanted to drive an airport shuttle. <laughs> oh. Uh, San Francisco was a fucking, it was a wild city when I was living in it. And I got there in 86. And uh, I, But I, I wanted to, to work for this. Sh- uh, so I met somebody or something, and I wanted a job where they worked. So it, it started as that. And I, so I had to go get a driver's license to get the job. Oh, and that sucks when you have to, yeah. Well, right. if you've ever been in the South San Francisco airport in the 1980s, they had shuttle buses. They were colored. Some were blue, some were lime green. I was the guy working for the company with the lime green ones. And it would they would have areas, like you'd, if people were going, say, to the Richmond district, the driver of a certain van would have that district. So everybody that they picked up wouldn't be going up to all five points of town. They'd just be going to one particular neighborhood. Uh-huh. You, follow it, you follow that logic, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. So that's what I did. I wanted to do that for a couple of months and, and had a lot of fun doing it. In fact, at one time I was even a nice guy. I get a land a landline call. The op- dispatcher calls me. I'm driving back somewhere, going back to the airport or something. Anyway, so he makes me call him in and he goes, you got something on your van that somebody left behind. Can you bring it back to him? So I did. And it was a woman's wallet. <laughs> She had all her fucking traveling money in it and everything. And Ooh. I just said, yeah, well, come on. That would be taking that from her. I was working the van. I mean, come on. It was like suicide. 
you don't do stupid, horrible things to people when they're desperate. No, well, no, but there yeah, are people so, in this world that will. But I didn't even look. I just brought her back her shit. I didn't even know it was in the van. You know, I just assumed everybody just hauled their own stuff off. I didn't think about that. I wasn't like a, sh- a chauffeur doorman. I was just driving the van, bring you where you want to go for a fee. Yeah. And people are freaking wonderful when they're dependent on you to take them where you know, they've been dying. They've been on this airplane to get here. And then, oh, Christ, now I got to ride in a van to get to the, the place. Mm-hmm. And then that that last step off the uh, the last ride kind of makes you feel good. Ah, and you know what? My mother does the access van now that she no longer drives her. Well, she no longer has her pickup because, well, she yeah. ran into a building. <laughs> oh, she's yeah. a bad girl. Then. Yeah, she crashed into the side of the library. But good how job, bad? Mom. How fast? Uh Oh, she was just pulling into a parking spot. Oh, but okay. she yeah, yeah. Okay. Misjudged distance. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Shit, shit happens when you get old. Okay. Yeah, and she said that pretty much let her know that she needs to stop driving, which, well, you know, she was 80, yeah. 85 when she did that. And, you know, I understand. Sure. So um, she yeah, does the access van now. Sure. And she loves, there's a couple of the access van drivers that she really, really loves. And one of them, she says, is just so awesome um, because if he doesn't have a full van and, you know, he's, and, you know, she wants to chit chat or whatever. She'll sit right up close to him, and they'll sit there and jibber jabber. <laughs> and he'll he'll take her to all of the other places all over town and drop everybody else off before he drops her off, so that they can have a nice little conversation and she gets to see new areas of the town because you know the place is growing like crazy, and she just really loves it. So you know, I can understand where people are very thankful, you know, for for having someone that will give them and, you know, especially someone that will be conversant with them or whatever. So. Yeah. Well, things are underrated, you know, and and I got to do some really fun stuff that just happened. There was no plan to it. I just wanted to do that job and see what would become of it. And a lot of the jobs were just, you know, goofy, like driving something or, uh, well, I had a really good thing going when I was demolishing this guy's, um, he had a building on, uh, Clement street and he wanted all the wood and pipes and everything gutted out of it. It was like two floors. Uh huh. And they just sent me to work for a week, went tear it all out and I'll pay you when I get back. <laughs> I went, Oh, good. <laughs> hey. And I pulled it off and gutted the place and. That w- I mean, jobs would be whatever was needed to be done if I could do it. And the more bizarre it was, the more interested in, in it I would seem to be. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bless you. Holy smokes, Batman. Cough, cough. Oh, see? You're dying. You're dying. Of course, we all are. Okay, while you're doing that, I'm going to read what Cowboy Tech just shared. The creation and supply of money lies in the hands of a few families, mainly the Rothschild, Rockefeller, Morgan, Carnegie, uh, Harriman, Schiff, Warburg, and a handful of others. These incredibly powerful people or families control the entire planet's money supply. They have the right to print and distribute money without restriction. Their rights are protected by the current governments of the world and the military might that upholds the governments. In other words, national security. And these are further supported by the laws that are made by the governments and the courts that uphold such laws. All of this activity is kept nice and tidy under control of the banking elite who in turn keep the governments in power. It's a system so skillfully crafted that we have to admire its architects. But now that we have figured out that we are mere pawns in a huge game of global slavery, it's time for a change. Michael Tellinger. And I do love Michael Tellinger. I love yeah, love his videos and, and the information not, that he shares. And... Don't get all excited, Mary. Well, it's not going to change. It can't. Oh, would you stop that? Quit putting what? that out in the universe. Jeez, oh, Pete. 
you know, Michael Tellinger is actually working yeah. with people, and they do have Ubuntu communities that are, mm-hmm. they're not based on the monetary system. They're not even based on bartering. Everybody just does their own little bit, and they all work. And I know somebody's going to say, well, that's communism, and communism sucks. Okay, any kind of ism sucks. But when wow. you have people. Don't get so defensive. Well, I didn't say anything. Yes, you did. I, you said that's I not going to change. And yes, it will. No. If people actually Ow. believe, number one, people need to pull their heads out of their ass and believe that money doesn't fix things. Money doesn't it's buy the, you the anything problem. that you really have to have. So mm-hmm. step away from money. Okay. And people are starting to do that. You just need oh, to open your on. eyes and see it. You yeah, are but, Mr. Doubting Thomas, Jewy, Mexican Jewy bastard. But yeah. I know you don't see it because you're not looking for it. I see it because I'm looking for it. And I find it. And there are people out there that are yeah, getting away from it couple of hundred people out of the billions of us a that couple the game. of hundred communities that are doing this and every drop in a lake or an ocean starts a ripple every single drop that's a ripple effect it's not going to be an overnight thing but it's happening you know, if okay. you actually see, you know, open your eyes and see. And sorry, I'm getting really, really cranky here, but it's like, God dang, no. ever, I'm so tired of all this gloom and doom and the world's never going to change. And no, it's not ever going to wow. change if you stay in that attitude of the world's never going to change. But if you stop pissing and moaning and groaning about how horrible the world is and actually start doing something, even if it's just for yourself to make your life a little bit better without causing anyone else to suffer, other people will notice and they will start copying and then more people and then more people. It's change happens gradually in these kind of instances. And that's why we have all of this shit hitting the fan right now because they they see this change happening. You know, those families that supposedly control the money supply. They see this change happening. And when you start connecting those dots and you start seeing like what's his face from Turkey is wanting their gold back that may look like just a superficial thing, but if you actually look at it like Damn, they're, they're, this is a little baby step to step away from the bullshit of one bunch controlling everything and giving you this idea of scarcity that is not true. You know, so when people step away and say, fine, I don't need your stuff, they are creating a reality that will make the other reality that is not helpful not beneficial obsolete and there there's my bitch for the day i just i get so freaking tired of everybody saying not going to get any better not going to get any better yes it will but okay. you have to stop dwelling in that vibration of it's I not going to get any better me that it wasn't going to get better for you get all kind of bent yes there. i did i did places I don't even have to go to are still going to suffer whether I believe it or fucking not isn't the point. It's that the people that support it don't really fucking understand what they're fucking supporting or they wouldn't do it. No, they don't understand. And that's why sometimes so the you best went on a way rant to about you went on a rant about I don't know if that was personal or what, but I live in a nice, quiet, peaceful place. Yes, you do. But I'm you reacting. I'm reacting to the news that Mm -hmm. I see on the interwebs that come into my life. They don't look good. No, but you know what? A lot of times that stuff shows up because everybody keeps going, oh, look at how bad it is. Look at how. Stop looking at all the bad stuff. Do you know that every day, every day on this planet, I will bet you that at least 100,000 people every single day perform a selfless act for someone else? Without mm-hmm. expecting any kind of compensation or payment or even a thank you. they prefer, And it doesn't have to be a big selfless act. It can be open a door or hold a door open for someone. But you'd be surprised how something that small 
will make a difference for someone that is having a shit day, you know, and you go and you open the door for them and you go, have an awesome day. What did that take out of someone else's, you know, life? I, I, you know, it, I it, don't know. <laughs> it doesn't. Where do you think I fucking live? Like, watch well, no, or something? No, no, it's just that I know you're doing if good you, there, no, but yet you, you keep focusing with, on all of the ugly that's going on out there. All of that ugly where, is there to I'm keep you. I'm talking about one specific fucking thing, and you're going you're, on about you're the whole You're talking damn about world. we're never going to get away from the monetary system, and so long no, as you I'm have that mindset, you, it won't happen. Gotta, no, you got a guy that said we're going to pull the troops out, and then a couple of weeks later, the place he was pulling the troops out, they bomb it. Yeah, well, it was That's a few days was later. Yeah, and that yeah. is all to keep us in that fear mindset, to keep us going, oh, it's so horrible, oh, it's so bad. How do we know? Look at what's right in front of you. Is it really that horrible? Is it really that bad? If it is, do something different. Do something to start start moving away from that horrible. I don't know what and you're mad at that, me about. Though. I'm not mad at you. I'm just, I'm, I'm venting at the world because it's like, come on, world. You all sit here and piss and moan and groan about how oh, shitty it is. And yet you don't do anything to step away from how shitty it is. Step to, away uh, from the shitty. You're dealing with violence. You have to outsmart violence. You can't beat violence with violence. No, you cannot. Work. No, you cannot. And that's why you have to, instead of dealing with the paradigm that it's they have being, got us in, that's what I'm trying to step tell you. away from being, it. Being angry when you reproduce that idea doesn't work with it. See, it's going right by me because I have my own ideas. Yes, you do but have your own you, ideas. Your being angry feels personal because I do this with you a lot. Yes, well. And I know you're frustrated. I know it sounds as if, but sometimes mm, we assume that the other guy's saying things the way we hear it, not the way they're saying it. This is what I've been trying to prove with the dork table the whole time, is a lot of the time we're really saying the same fucking thing. It just doesn't sound like the same thing. Okay. I agree with that. And right. Yeah. No, I know. I I didn't say. I just meant your your anger. I feel your anger sometimes. I'm well, just not. I make jokes and just make voices up and shit. Instead of being angry, I get playfuler. Yeah. Okay. You you get playfuler and all that. I'm sorry. I'm I'm, talking I'm, about I'm trying to show, move so. a little bit so I don't get all kinkified. Oh yeah, you're back. Yeah. Hey, Wayne, you better be Mister Back tonight, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had to get up and move uh, just a little bit. I will but, wish the zombies on you if you do not take care of the back. <laughs> yes, well, in any case, <laughs> no, I know, but there's, there are, you know, it seems like every show, and I'm not, I'm not growling at you or anything like that, but every show you say, nobody notices. Well, you know what? Nobody notices because they're not ready to notice. So instead, show them something that will help them step away. Yeah, the the 20 people that live in my, you know, neighborhood are going to their lives are going to change because of my example that you I'm never doing know. Their example. This, you never know. See, I I'm living in a place that accepted me because I'm from somewhere else. Isn't that it's not awesome? A secret. Isn't that awesome? Right, but you're see and there's two different worlds going on right now. And one of the worlds going on right now is getting the fuck bombed out of them. Yes, and that and they're Okay, and that's an intentional that, thing. No, I'm exactly, not I know the families want us to be at war. That's what all this media shit's all about. That's what all these movies are all about. It's what the division between the genders is all about. So that we'll bicker and argue. Doesn't matter with who and it doesn't matter about what. It just matters that you do that. Yeah, and so instead yeah. of bickering and arguing, and if you don't like what's going on out there, a lot of times, I yeah, my computer's up and all that, but I go outside because outside, well, Mary, I don't have all that ugly going okay. on. Mary, don't make too much of my verbal opinion about the state of the world. Okay. That's the point and of the dork table. I is know. To have a little fun with it. I mean, come I on. I understand that, my dear, but... 
you, it's a reality do you do you this. hear yourself and, every week? You always say something about the Fed, and and I understand that, and that needs to be out there. That vibration needs to be put out there so that it will, because you know it is energy, it is vibration that's getting out there. But people need to you know acknowledge. Okay, I know this is going on. So what am I yeah. going to do about it? Because I can't, me personally. Yeah. I do not have the personal power to just go and lock those doors of the Fed and say it's done. Okay. I do not so, have that. Okay, well, all right. What, but, are the three, what are the three steps that I tell you I live by? That if the rest of the world would fucking follow along, we'd be doing good. Okay. Do you, do you I remember that don't I lie. Step plan? I remember don't lie and grow hemp. See, you rem- it's <laughs> living an honest life. Yeah. Don't kill anyone and grow hemp. Yeah. If these three steps were followed by everybody, we would be in a phenomenal world. But it's based on lies. It's all of it. It's based on you need to have money. You need you need to have mm. this medium of exchange. Yeah, you know, same and, thing. Lies. And, and that's well, all lies. It is lies. When you bring it right down to it, it's it's thievery. It's mm. thievery. Yes. You know, right. back to the but it, again. it was like last night when I was reading about in Oregon how they've got this plethora of pot now and the mm. prices are tanked and all that other fun shit. If yeah. everybody does the same thing, it's not going to fix it. <laughs> it's not going to oh, fix exactly. it. Well, that's what's wrong with government is they think that whatever the government says is what you should do. Yeah, they have a one-size-fits-all attitude, and a one-size-fits-all is not real. It's just I mean, not. Wow. Here we are. Even trust number one making a, if Bush Jr. spoke, I missed it. But to know this Bush from Jeb Bush, from George Bush, from, you know, this guy, from that guy, that's the game. Yeah. We're, we all play that game. Okay, so. Well, and today, I do too. Wait, I go wait, and wait, see this shit. So today, well, I'm reading the thing on the screen. Anyway, so today you give me an ass whooping all over the place because uh, I don't feel comfortable that uh, people bomb other countries based on fictitious stories fed to them through media. No, that, that's that's not why I, I jumped your shit. That. I jumped well, your shit because you, because I read the Michael Tellinger thing about doing mm-hmm. away with money, and you said that's not going to happen and bullshit. It's not going to happen in our lifetime. It can't happen in this lifetime. How do it, you know? To connect. Okay, you show me your evidence of any change. They're going into it deeper into the electronic. Are you kidding? You, you got a phone. You know, my wife has a fucking phone. It doesn't Good God, mean I I'm use so it. Less to be out of this. Out of this uh, transaction status crap, it's a blessing to be free of it. Well, and yet are you? I mean, you're mm-hmm. still on the Internet. It uh, comes with her work. We have Internet in the house because she needs it for her job. So lucky her. Mm-hmm. But everything that she does that's connected to her work benefits her. Yeah. I mean, it's not like how they do us in the States. It's a really, it's a, I, I, would, I call it the difference with, is in America, they had me in barbed wire. Here they would have me in rope if I played the game. It, it's a lot more comfortable is all. You get results for your investment. Yeah, too. the cage is the cage. It's still the cage. Yeah, but... yeah, yeah, exactly. No, I'm not denying that. What I'm saying is I'm not connected to it in a professional fucking way anymore. So I'm free of all that. See, and I, um, it's, it's maybe just, I'm just, it's my, I'm, I'm sure it's my ringing Cedars books that, that are new. Cause I just, I see people that are, you know, doing little bits at a time to step away from the fear mongering and, mm-hmm. and, you know, we didn't get here overnight. So it, it takes, and some people, if they're stepping away, it's just merely by, on a city street smiling at someone as opposed to what they used to do, making mm-hmm. eye contact, holding a door open, little bitty acts of kindness. Those little bitty acts of kindness put ripples out. Okay, and, and I'm living and have for a few years now in a place that does that. Where 
where the families walk around together downtown, go to the stores and the shops and whatnot. And that's awesome. Know? That's awesome. Yeah, but that's not where I come from. I come from driving everywhere to drive 30 miles, and you don't know anybody where you're going to. So, you know, and here it's everybody's in downtown. You know, there's there is nowhere else to go. Okay, and so you can use I've that as a comparison kind, kind of thing. But after that, yeah. it's it's step away from what my I grew up in a lot of different, you know, with a lot of different stuff going on. But it sure it led me to where I'm at right now. But right now is what's important. You know where well, you're I'm in living. A quiet society, and I'm in a quiet society. Mm -hmm. But I don't come from a quiet society. I don't either. Now, I'm not talking to just. I'm not. I don't just talk shit about cities. I talk shit about cities I've lived in and where I I had experience. I saw some of these places in the changes that they were in. I was in England. I was in London, England, the last year that they uh, let you smoke on the up, upstairs on the bus. I think it was 1990. Might have been 91. Could have been anywhere between 89 and 91. I just can't remember the specifics like I used to when I was younger. <clears throat> but I remember being on the bus when you couldn't smoke on it anymore. So, what? Wow. Well, and I remember times like that as well. And and those are memories to look back on and go, okay, I acknowledge that that control freak stuff or whatever is going on here mm -hmm. is not what I want. So therefore, that has been put into the not what I want column. And I am mm. moving over to this is what I do want. And so every kind of negative thing that I see, it gets either it gets put in a wow, there's a lesson learned from that one. It goes over in the where I what I do not want column. And then I work from there. And I, I leave those things in the I do not want column of my mm. life now this is the way I do it but mm. a lot of people just don't realize it that no matter who you are no matter where you are you are an example someone mm. is is forming an opinion making a judgment whatever however you wish to say that based on your words and deeds so it once you realize that you're an example whether you know it or not, or whether you acknowledge it or not, but just grasping that little bit right there that, hey, I'm setting an example, even if it's just for my pets or what have you, then you have to kind of buck up a little bit and go, okay, if I'm going to be an example, let's make it a good example. Let's make it an example that people don't go, holy shit, you know, wh what was that I shared earlier today? Thank you to all of the people who have taught me who I do not wish to be. You know, those are excellent lessons. And once you learn that lesson, you can move on and just, yeah, I'm thankful for all those difficult people in my life that have shown me exactly who I do not want to be. You know, <laughs> once, once you, you know, once you <laughs> learn that lesson, then mm. you just, and you just put it over there in that, that's what I do not want to be. And you keep working towards the what I want to be. <laughs> Realizing oh, that you okay. are also being an example as well. And someone else may think that you are a person that they don't want to be. Not you as in just you. Or someone may be thinking that I am a person that they don't want to be. Okay. I get well, that. No, I don't really care though. Well, you care. No, That's it's got nothing to do with my business. It's not necessarily that I care or not. It's that I acknowledge mm. that someone else is yeah. forming an opinion based on what I say or do. An opinion. And, what and you it's do means okay, nothing. but it's to you it means nothing. To someone no, look else, up the definition of the fucking word opinion. It doesn't mean anything. It's just what you think about something. I know. Based it's what you, you think feel. about. So what? Yes. Whoop, but, okay. An opinion. Whoop whoop. Okay, that I is... I just deal with the facts, little missy. And we don't the... fuck around with opinions here. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. See, okay, what all I'm saying with that is this. Your opinion, I appreciate your opinion. I, I like to discuss your opinion with you, me and you. Mm -hmm. But 
it doesn't interfere with my opinion. I don't, you know, I don't have to have the same opinion as you do about something. No, you don't. To talk about it. No, no, no. Sometimes we get a little funny, and then this time we even raised our voice. I was cool. We had a fight on the radio. <laughs> well, it's not really a fight. It's it was just, no, I'm just. It's good. Uh, it's good to sound that way because you're so angry sounded. <laughs> well, okay. You hear it as anger, and I'm. It, to yeah, me, it's yeah, more of a frustration, which, you same know, it's just talk. different levels of the same basic. It's the same thing as if a 300-pound man pins me i'm hurting i'm in big trouble so no we don't do that see yeah and well that comes in mental ways too dear yes it does just, a, you know who tries to do that to me on the rl and m i know hansel <laughs> isn't he good you know what he calls me <laughs> uh, mm. <laughs> you're gonna love this <laughs> a, a pothead <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what kind of pot? Are we talking a flower pot? Are we talking no, 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 weed wait, wait, pot? Wait, are we talking a right. toilet pot? I mean, pothead could mean all kinds of things. I don't know, but this is his insult. Is I'm I'm a drug-addled hippie. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm, and my brother calls me I, a conservative hippie. So I yeah. just I just wanted to put it on the radio so that there was proof that. Thank you, Hansel. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I don't know what I'd do without you. Oh, yeah. Well, see, I got a little trick. I'll tell you about it on the radio here. Okay. And I've used this my entire life. And that trick was letting other people say things to me that they thought would hurt my image. But talking to the people that they said it to and and hearing what they had to say about it. You, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. Playing, yeah. And yeah, and then encouraging the insult when it would come because it was just showing everybody what a dumbass certain person was. <laughs> but it's it's a I've got a cruel streak in me, I guess, and I just cannot stop whipping the post. I've tried to, you know, I've tried to, I'm not going to do this, and I've tried to ignore, and I've tried everything, but I'm so addicted to the insult game that me and Hans play that I can't stop. I think I need therapy. <laughs> well, no, it's just, it's, I understand. It's like a cat playing with a mouse. I get that. But I just, I, I guess I just don't, I don't pay close enough attention anymore. If Hans says something that I agree with or disagree with and I feel as though I am properly motivated to actually contribute to the conversation, then I will. But if yeah. not, it's not the be-all, end-all, do-all of any of that stuff. I, it's like, okay, whatever. He's so, Mary, he, he is the, um, the lifeblood. Without him, we'd just be slapping each other on the back about how cool we all are. We got Hansel to come stir shit up. It's really good. <laughs> well, yeah, he is a shit stirrer. Yes, he is. Well, I, but sometimes I, I think he's a man, he's a he's a you know a devil's advocate, if you will. <laughs> I think he really enjoys doing that. Shit. And yes. I think some of the things that he puts in the chat, I think, are intended to make us all go, "What the?" F <laughs> I've thought that myself. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Anyway. Yeah. Hans, uh, mm -hmm. We've had so much. And then Woody's missing. And we haven't heard from Woody in a couple of weeks. So, eh, I'm just figuring he's out rock hounding. And he's not near a, a computer he would have called. <laughs> Our wayward child. Woody, yes. You know, up, in Ar up romping in Arizona. Wow. Our little family is so, you know, tight. <laughs> Well, you, you know, you it's can't... a bunch of little individuals that each have their own little quirks and all that fun stuff. And, and for the most part, I can take them or leave them. It's like, okay, yeah, you, I love y'all, but, but... Rob Works couldn't move south without all of us. He took us all with him. Yes, he did. You know, because you know what Rob could have done? He could have done it, it is, without telling anyone. Yeah, he could have kept it to himself. He was moving anywhere, and who would have ever known? So it's kind of nice that we got that. Yeah. No, so, I've known Rob for a while over the computer so far. And, we, you know, we tried to uh, do a little radio together. 
did a, a more serious thing with Larry Woods and and uh, and Vinny. Well, and I, mm, mm, what? I don't know. I, mm, <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm exhausted. <laughs> How, oh, because you're. Your back? My vent and my back, and yeah, I'm yeah, exhausted. Yeah, but wow, I figured something was wrong beside that, but your back will probably... Yeah, back pain can make a person go completely insane. Well, it's and... a Yeah, it's a horrible pain. It's like a tooth pain, but on my scale of pain, back pain's got been the worst thing I've ever had to go through. And it only happened one time. Well, and this is just, you know, it's for the most part, it's not... And I don't want to be a whiner or a wanker, but for the most part, yeah. it's not it's not a big deal until I get up and move, and then it's like, hello. <laughs> uh, well, it, so yeah, I have to stand up occasionally, and yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yeah, I. You got something to soak in to to relax all that, though, right? Yes, yes. Put I have muscle. Epsom salt and baking soda yeah. and and. So when you're when you're free of the dark table, you're gonna go like. Yes. Have some salt in your back. Yes, so I you, am. I am going so to go have a. Be, that way, you won't be a grouchy bitch Wednesday night when you do the rocket chair. Uh, you never know. I might be. You never know. I mean, I never know what the hell I'm going to do. Even last I night. I you off today. Yeah, it's pretty bizarre. I'm good at it though. Well, the, and it wasn't mom, necessarily yeah. you. It's just that I keep seeing all of this stuff on all of these different social sites. And ah, and good. your comment was just the last straw. And hello, Becky, I am. I see you, sweetheart. Hey, Becky. See, Becky well, is a prime example of stepping away from yeah. the monetary yeah. world. Yeah, exactly. And when but, you look at people like that, you think, okay. Everybody, you got all these little seeds that are getting planted, and then these people are sharing their stories, and it's wonderful. And if instead of focusing on all the nasty stuff that they keep putting out, especially the false flag nasty stuff that they put out, and and focus on these wonderful stories that people are sharing, and then you start thinking, I can do that. I can't do everything that they're doing, but I can do some of that, and I'm going to start working towards that. And that's, you know... That is that ripple effect. That is it. And people are really, it It just kind of, it's like, wow, you guys can't see it. And then I have to stop and I have to, which is where I'm at right now. I have to stop and I have to tell myself, not everybody sees what you see. Not everybody gets it or connects the dots the way you connect them. And so that's that's where I am right now. I'm trying to tone. <laughs> And not be such a cranky poo, and just go okay. Uh, you earned it. You can you can be however the hell you want. I well, don't care. I don't enjoy being a cranky poo. That's the thing, you know. No, it it was weird to be on the receiving end of it though. <laughs> and just I think, I really here. wasn't angry. I was just very frustrated about God, people. Uh, you're you're yeah. I think you're angry too, but that's see my interpretation of what you did. I, yeah. That's and it's still no matter what your opinion about a topic is, it's not personal to me somehow. Well, and that's you know, even you know, that's I'm cool. Gloomy, but I've been the gloomy Gus in this duet since it started. You're the bright shunt sunshine fucker, and I'm the gloomy doomy black fucking oh there he is again guy. Yeah, yeah, so, with hey. your freaking Kissinger voice. Well, you and you proved that. The goal of this program has been fulfilled, even to your standards. Well, that's pretty. I appreciate that. To my standards? Oh, darling. My standards are yeah, leave them your smiling. High standards of, your high standards of mentality. <laughs> oh, well, see, I my standards pretty much got adjusted years and years ago when I realized that my purpose mm. in yeah. this life is comic relief. You know, I try, I, oh. I wish to <laughs> yeah, be, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. know, be that, know. be that person that even if it's at my own expense, by yeah. uh, someone else's perspective, you know. Except today when you were bitching at me about being a gloomy Gus. Yes. Well, you know, all of this. Mm. Well, you know what? Let me make a suggestion, little missy. Why don't you pull up big girl panties and get in line? Read a book. Learn well, some stuff. <laughs> that's what I've been doing. I've been Get reading angry. books. I've been reading my Anastasia, the Ringing Cedars books, and they really are pretty fascinating. 
you know, it, it, okay. Well, and when you when you, know, you look at because right now I'm in book three. And yeah, oh, okay. I only there's eight books in the series and they're not really long books. But the only time I get to read them is either when I'm soaking in the tub or just before <laughs> bed. And a lot of times if I'm soaking in the tub, I have to set it off to the side because I fall asleep in the tub. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> but in I any case, I was old. I'm no. You're I'm older than you, right? No, you're not. You're younger than oh, me. Oh, you're the okay, Grim. I'm older than Grim. Yeah, and I'm, I'm older the, than I'm Grimm. the one in the middle. Yeah, you're August, I'm September, and then he's the following August. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We're like the three old scutters. <laughs> <laughs> Old scooters. Thank you, Chloe, by the way. Um, yeah, um, old scooters. I love that. I'm an old scooter. <laughs> well, it, it's just I do radio with you, and I go to Grimp for help, and I just threw the th – and then the, the birthdays are just pretty close. Yeah. We're all within about that year period. So yeah. It's kind of weird. It is. It is. Yeah. It's strange to be born in the same area. So yeah. close together. Okay, and then stop and realize that that Dangleberry was born <laughs> the day after my birthday. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, not the yeah. day after me. He's a year oh. and a day younger than me. Oh, okay. Well, I thought you meant like August 4th. I would know his fucking birthday from his zip code. I don't like Obama. Well, I, I, like, I, I saw it. I didn't like it's... the greasy prick when I first saw him. Well, I didn't either, but... I thought he, he looked like a... Uh, like a gay high school teacher I didn't want no part of. Get yeah. that freak away from me. Jesus Christ. Put yeah. the woman in the short skirt back. This guy's annoying. <laughs> That'll cost you a week, Mr. Bias. <laughs> principal's office. Kick me out, you know, for yelling in the classroom. or Yeah, I could get anywhere from three days up to a week, depending if I'd swear or not. Ah, oh, hey, Becky's been working on observing without evaluating. Awesome, Becky. <laughs> I don't know what awesome. that means, but it sounds very painful. That means I hope she's you being, don't hurt anything. <laughs> she's being a people watcher without ah. passing judgment. I don't even know what that means. I just go places and try not to walk into people. See, and I like to go to, you know, especially at towns, you know, bigger cities and stuff. If I can go somewhere and sit on a park bench and just watch people as they go. It's, stalker. I know. Nerd. I'm weird like stalker. that. But I really love watching the human animal. Oh, she hears the ambulance. Okay. I was oh. just speaking about this earlier. I told you. Yeah. See, yeah, you put you put that vibration out into the universe, yeah, and here, here it's showing yeah, up. Yeah, it's all my fault. Yeah. Well. Sure. It yeah, is. Right. I'm laying it on you, dude. <laughs> 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 but really, yeah. you know, if you if you stop and think about it, and if you look <laughs> back at things, you will notice that sometimes that that when you put something out into the universe. It'll show up. Oh, you're very bossy to do. You have a lot of rules. Wow. Yes, I do. Well, actually, a lot of people don't realize they're putting that vibration out into the universe. You know, oh. all of these people oh, that yeah, say yeah, that yeah, that yeah. I'm going to, I, I'm going to win the lottery. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. They're when they put oh. that out in the universe, they're doing it in a vibration of I don't have it right now. And the okay. universe says, yes, you're right. You don't have it right now. And so long as you keep resonating in that I don't have it right now, you're not ever going to have it because you're in that I don't have it right now. So I'm getting myself, and I really feel like I am. I'm in that, I'm, for the most part, I'm in this place where I'm really pretty happy. I've got everything I need. Life is good. And you know, when I stay in, in this zone... As opposed the to getting zone. all crankified, but if I stay in this zone or this this uh, vibration, then yeah. then happy thoughts come to me, and happy occurrences pop up. You know, except so, for me overworking in the yard and my back talking to me. You know what that <laughs> sounds like to me? It sounds like I'm a very hippie existentialist, which is okay. No, see, I. I, no, that's not what I was going to say. Oh, it well. sounds to me, though, as like you believe something, so it's true. 
just like everybody else. That's how I see people. That's if you true. believe it's true, then it's true. What what does that have to do with me? You telling me your reality does not make your reality real to me. No. You're just telling me what it is. Yeah. And that's how we judge each other. Uh-huh. There you go. Some people are more fun than others. Today, you're not so much fun. <laughs> I'll see my, yeah. I you enjoy the stories. Because I brought up the bombing of Americans behind the back of the people. And no, you got that is Kelly not, no. Stuff. What? Said I was what? Not Uby Gus. No, no. <laughs> Get so. your story yeah, straight. Did. What ah. I got crankified about was ah. no, we're not going to step away from the monetary system. We are doing it. Oh, you know, and somehow all this crap's all connected. Yes, it is. Because you know, if, if you understand one, one part of it, you understand all parts of it. And if you support one part of it, then you don't understand how it works. I don't support any of the system, exactly. quote-unquote right. system. A, but I, I, I do sometimes have to work within it in order to get out of it. Mary, surviving life is part of life. I've made that fucking point so many times I'm tired of saying it. If you haven't heard me say it, then you're looking for me to say something you don't like. I've heard you say it before. Uh... <laughs> but, uh, oh, yes, Becky, I am. Personal utopia is the only inside job that we can do a thing about. That is so true. So right. true. It's all you... Yeah, so if you're a miserable fuck, then you talk about miserable fuck stuff. Yeah. There you go. Making that point. I don't know. And sometimes, I suppose, when I talk about miserable stuff, it makes me a miserable fuck. But, as a dork, I am calling shenanigans on President Trump for misleading people and doing the horrible shit that they do. Yes. And yes. if that's not, you know, that's my, I don't know. Here there be shenanigans. My input to the, you know, let it be known where I stand on this issue. You're not doing me any favors bombing people, you dumbass. Nobody survives and, a physical life. That's true, Grim. All right, but I get on, I get on the RLM and I have a certain person tell me about these invading hordes from Germany. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> to, to where? Well, it, you know, it's not very bright. Mm. <laughs> it's just okay. <laughs> and I just, wow. I am, I am so glad I have a scrolling wheel, which my <laughs> my way cool mouse has a wheel, you know, yeah. not because um, it's a rollerball mouse and it has a scrolly I, wheel. My mouse has a tail. Mine has that, too. It has a wheel and a tail. Sweet! Wow. So how did we get on to mice tails? From uh, personal utopia to mice tails. Because you brought up Hansel and how you like to play with him like a cat and a mouse. I Did I do that? I didn't mean to. Yeah. Huh? Oh. Well, oh, come on. It's there's There's only so much you can do in life. True. And you know what? In honor of that, I think that we need to, I, I agree with this wholeheartedly, we need to uh, get a bunch of blow-up dolls, fill them with helium, and send them in the upper atmosphere so they'll freak out all those people waiting for the rapture. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know. I think that would read... be funny as fuck to do. Right, but if you read enough memes and comments on the Internet, it's it's starting to show more and more people are are uh, as disgusted with what's going on as we are. Yeah. That number is not very big, but it's it seems to be accelerating a little. It's noticeable. Yeah, and it'd be nice to be in a utopia, but we're not in one. I'm in one, but that circumstances, you know, life. Life treats people however they in interpret it, you know. And if the same thing that happened to me were to happen to somebody else, they might not see it as, hey, that worked out okay. They might just dwell on 
the problem that that happened and not ever get beyond it. Yeah. You know, they don't learn anything from the experience. They just keep reliving the misery of it. Well, yeah, and see, that's 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 the reason why, and I, I saw this years ago, and I thought, wow, that's an awesome way of looking at it. That's the reason why when you're driving a vehicle, mm -hmm. car, pickup, what have you, that's why the windshield is so much bigger than the rear view mirror. Because what's more important <laughs> is what's in front of you what's in front of than you. what's yeah, behind you. you. Yeah. Yeah. Unless you're going in reverse. Then things change a little bit. Yes. <laughs> yes. But it doesn't happen very often that you pass somebody doing 60 in reverse. <laughs> so, big deal. Well, but you know what? Most people that, if they're doing 60 in reverse... I don't think you can, but okay, what about it? <laughs> if they Good are, luck. odds are they're turned around and they're looking out the back window. They're not looking <laughs> through that rear view. <laughs> it's pretty fast to do in reverse. I've I've never tried that one. I've never that, tried it either. That's not one of those things that I've actually put. That's not in my bucket list. Let's put it that way. Deck, the first thing I thought of is going that fast in reverse sounds kind of insane. <laughs> Talk about backwards well, yeah oh um, yeah well and you know what that's what i think a lot of this this um government shit is they've got that thing they have it in r because they think r means racing gear and no it's reverse, <laughs> reverse. yeah I've heard that before. i don't know the government is so it's such a farce i can't understand how anybody could support it anymore well any of it yeah. And if you give it your mental support, I sure like to understand why. Outside of you're in a gang that's going to protect you and somehow that's important. I prefer our gang as opposed to that gang. You know, Spanky, Porky, yeah. Buckwheat, Alfalfa. Well, I don't think Darla. that you and me take this um, physical assault as seriously as other people do. Well, it's cuz we're know, not like being physically assaulted. Well, no, I mean like the dirt that we live on being physically assaulted. Yeah. I don't see any advantage to come in here for any invading force. It's, it's, why would they, this would slow them down to go somewhere. <laughs> so this is not what's going to happen here. Yeah. Yeah. So, it, no, but that's the kind of comments I, I've read <laughs> I don't know what to do except laugh about it. Well. But but if you read about how all these European countries are are so horrible to live in, I guess um, that's what you'd believe. Yeah. Yeah. But if you live in these horrible places where they write about how horrible it is to live in, living there seems a lot different than what they write. I'll tell you that. Because I live here. And I go, wow, I don't. I sure like to know what they're talking about, but I don't. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Well, all the horrible shit in Germany. Cirque went to Germany a couple months ago for a business thing, a couple mm -hmm. of days. She came back the same as she left. Nothing happened to her while she was there. So I'm suspicious about all this. Yeah. Sweden, the same thing. Oh, Sweden's huge. Huge. So I think they're talking about Stockholm, which is a weird city in the first fucking place. And the Swedes are a little different than <laughs> – it's like the difference between the, the, the North, this Ohio and Louisiana. There's a distinct difference. You, you recognize it without being an American. Well, and it's like a lot of people, um, when you, they hear Kansas, they instantly think Kansas City. Thanks, Cowboy. Yeah. And and cowboy, hi cowboy tech. Um, yeah. Kansas City is so different from the rest of the state. Of Kansas City is right <laughs> on the edge. It's you know it straddles Kansas and Nebraska. Yeah. Yeah. So it's Kansas City is nothing like most of the rest of the state, and yet people and people think that um, you know. Um, Oh, you're from Kansas? Well, so you're from Kansas City. No, no. And that's that's just an assumption that people make because it's, it's a familiar thing for them. Yeah. 
and it gives yeah. them a picture. But until you start explaining to them, uh, no, Kansas City is a completely different place, and okay. it's way but I was making over. The point of somebody well, from Sweden compared to somebody from Denmark is as visible as, to them as somebody from Ohio is to somebody from Louisiana. Yeah, the speech is different. Yeah, the the foods are different. Yeah. The, the surroundings are completely different. Yeah, but, you know, it is it's it is like, you know, people will say, oh, well, in Sweden, when actually maybe it is Stockholm that this shit is going on. I'm the telling rest you of Sw- I know, here, I'm agreeing with you that. All these that, that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They do exactly to America what America does to America with the press about other places. Oh, yeah. So, you know, I, I wouldn't be surprised to see them write a freaking horrible fucking uh story about this town that I live in and there is nothing could ever happen here it is I'm, we're in the middle of out, outskirts kind of thing you know there's no targets there's nothing it's just a place to live yeah mm-hmm. just like every place is a place to live well, no, because the big cities have turned into these meat lockers and they got everybody stacked on top each, of each other, you know, a hundred fucking floors high, working and living and But it's all a these... place to live. It, is it okay. much of a living by your standards or by mine? Probably not, but it is a place to live. It's unnatural to me. Yeah. Wow, I was talking for me, not the world, Mary. I, I got know. Indy today. Okay. <laughs> and you're taking everything personal and I'm agreeing with you and you're taking it personal. You throw me off my you throw me off my game little missy. Good. I don't, I don't Good. Know. Every once in a while we need to have a dork table where one of the dorks throws the other one under the bus and the wheels of the bus go round oh. and round. <laughs> wow, did, did something bad happen? I didn't no. see that. No. Uh, see? Oh. Okay. Sometimes yeah, I say shit just to say shit. You ever think of that? I I don't know. I don't even think you listen most of the time. I thought you were reading text. <laughs> Looking at links. Now today you decide to listen. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I know. Talk I not only listen, Florida. but I bite. <laughs> yeah. Well, the back thing slowed you down, so you had to participate a little bit more. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. And that, that too is, yeah. Well, it's kind of nice to know that you trust me enough to go all cranky ba- a- cranky ass bitch on me and not and <laughs> no I, I don't really I don't really care. I mean it was it's funny. <laughs> you're but you if that was a, if that would have been real I'd be like, "Hey, you crushed my ego. Who what are you doing?" But nah, that was ah. just you being I got a bad back and you touched my nerves, so I'm going to yep. go yelling at you. Yep. Well, <laughs> See, there was a last straw, and this camel's back just went. Uh, yeah. So. Is see, and life puts you in situations that you're tough enough to deal with. Yeah. Just yeah. to keep you polished. I mean, unless you retire. So some things in life I'm retired from, but being verbal on the radio, that ain't it. And we're going to do this for a while. <laughs> uh, see, and it's like I told my daughter, you know, because she was having a rough time, my youngest. Uh-huh. And uh, I said, you know what, sweetie, you need to stop and you need to think here for a minute. Everything that life has thrown at you that you thought was going to knock you into the dirt. You've yeah. survived every one of those things because you're still here. Guess what? You got a 100% track record of besting everything that's been thrown at you. So enjoy that. Oh, exactly. Well, I harp on this a lot. We're always, we're, we're all taught things in that are, that are wrong. The yeah. things that truly matter are not encouraged. And the things that are encouraged truly really don't matter. Yeah. But society makes them look like they matter, but they're meaningless crap. But they hold a value to society, so you're forced to go along with it or be a freak that, hey, you don't like that. Nope, I don't. I okay. won't participate in that. Well, it's like um, I don't like asparagus, and Circles likes asparagus. So guess what? Circles mm. can have my share of asparagus. There you go. There's a plus on that. See? Exactly. Because... You know, on our boycott list, there's Monsanto. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
There's um, Big Pharma. Big okay. anything, pretty much. Even Big, Big Mac. Boy. Big Mac okay. is bad. Well, bad. I've only got four things on my list because I didn't, you know, I can't remember a lot. Then there's oil. Which is and, another big. Yeah, and then there's Israel because, as we all know, anything made in nothing says death like made in Israel. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> to put it in so many words, oy vey, that is, it's funny and it's not funny at the same time to me because I'm related to these monkeys. Uh, uh, fuck. Uh, what can you, you know, relatives, what the fuck can you do about them? Uh, deal with them. Yeah. No, I'm I'm trying not to deal with these crazy fucking people, man. They're they want to rule the world, and they're they're the way that it's being accomplished is just so fucking ignorant. It's it's kind of embarrassing that people believe the stories they tell to get them in the positions they're in. Yeah. And then I will enjoy the asparagus farts all over them. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. And I'll do it with a Henry Kissinger voice. Go, hey, bomb this, motherfucker. Oh. See, I got a real I got a real problem with violence now, especially at that scale. There, to me, there's no excuse. There's no reason. They did this and we're going to do that. No, I don't think so. Because ah. most of the time you can go back in history and see where it was faked. It was a false flag. It happened, but it didn't happen the way you were told it happened. So the reaction to the thing was it was part of a plan. It wasn't a byproduct of a, oops, well, look, what happened? It's, we're going to do this, so this will happen. Mm. And then they, they lie about it in history, and they tell people stories about it, and the masses don't know any better, and it continues. And here we are, 2018, all this technology, all this intelligence, and we're still dropping bombs like little kids. Yeah. Yeah, isn't it crazy? Fucking grow up. God damn, I'm 58 years old, you know, come on. Even I know better, violence doesn't get you anywhere. And here we got a president that's older than me that still plays in the sandbox of the fucking cat turds. That's because he sees an immediate benefit. For yeah, him. like living, because if he doesn't say okay to his bosses, they'll just fucking replace his dumb ass. I think he's he seen the important. Zapruder films. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but uh, I would say that Donald Trump doesn't want to die, so he's going to do what they tell him. Yeah. Yeah, and he kisses the fucking Jew's ass upside one side, down the other side. Oh, I love the Jews. Oh, well, you know, anybody in that public, gets in gets into a position like that kissed an awful the, lot of asses, which is probably why everything is, they say is shit. The public is Jew whipped. The majority will not say fuck Israel. And it, I'm Jewish, and I, you know what I say? Fuck Israel. They're they're lying to you. You got fucked. This is a land grab, and they call it a religious war. You're being screwed. Oh, well, Don't buy it. They're the that, chosen that, ones, but they never tell you just exactly what they were chosen for. I don't even know what we were chosen for, and I'm one of them. <laughs> so, <laughs> wow. It could be anything far as I could tell. You might end up in a foreign land living with a person of the opposite persuasion that you just lack. Oh, living with the... Yeah. Mm, well, yeah. I don't like very many people. You, I might find this hard to believe, but people, eh, I don't get along with a lot of them. They find my uh, my behavior disturbing, Miss Mary. Oh, shock, shock. <laughs> they find my opinions sharp like tax daggers and stuff. Oh, yeah, it's horrible. Oh, you're rather pointed, yes. Yes, you like are. Like yourself, I could piss, I made you yell at me. I could piss off the Pope. <laughs> it's, a, it's a gift. I've been blessed. Yes, you have. And I you know what? I can't wait to do 
this next week because we're out of time. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Wow. Thanks, everybody, for hanging in with us. That was fun. Yeah. <laughs> thanks for listening to the Dork Table, everybody. And be sure to stick around because I'm sure there's lots more going on. Also, tomorrow at noon Eastern time, Grimmy with the Blues, an arousing game of trivia in the RLM chat. Then directly following Grim, Hal Anthony, who's going to open up a can of whoop-ass on yo ass behind the woodshed. And tomorrow evening, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, Gary.